Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 39 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a tool tip. Now, this tip is uh, really versatile. You could do it in a lot of different situations. And you could do it with the graduated filter, the radial filter, and the brush. I'm just going to show you one situation that you might want to use it for. In this instance I have this model and it has beautiful bokeh behind her but it is very bright so she is kind of blending in a little bit with the background I'd like her to stand out a little more so I want to darken the background now of course you could just use a brush and turn exposure down and darken her down darken down the background or maybe use a radial filter and darken the background or put a vignette on it and do that but what I want to do is I want to color it a little bit too and you could do that with uh, the three tools I mentioned, the um, graduated filter, radial filter, and brush. And we're going to do it with a brush in this instance. So a lot of people don't realize you actually could paint with color in Lightroom. And if you go down here, you could see where it says color. We have this rectangle with an X uh, mark through it. If you click on that, you'll see we have this color picker. And when I hover over the color picker, we have a uh, eyedropper to sample a color. Now, what this tip really is about, though, is not that. Uh, a lot of people know this, that you could click on this rectangle and pick a color. What a lot of people don't know is that you could actually sample a color that is already in the image. And how you do that is you go on the color picker anywhere. I'm just going to go even like right here in this totally opposite color of what's up in there. And click down on your left mouse button and hold it and drag it up into the picture. And as you can see, as I move around the picture, as I move this eyedropper around, if you look down at the color picker, you'll see that the little uh, box, the sample box, is moving around. So I could actually sample a color that is in the image. And I want to sample this green leaf right there. And I'll let go of the left mouse button, and that is what I sampled right there. Now, in this case, for this image, I really, I'm just going to turn highlights down. And... If I didn't pick a color, I would just be making the highlights duller. Well, in this instance, I'm actually going to be making the highlights a little duller, but I'm actually going to be adding a bit of color to them. So in the, uh, I'm going to use Auto Mask. I'm going to use a pretty big brush just to save time. And you can see how it's highlighting, or it's painting on those highlights, and it's just adding that tinge of color that I sampled. Now I'll get a smaller brush for around her arm here, so I don't... I mean, I'm going real quick, of course. And of course, if you make a mistake and you accidentally go across her arm like that or something like that, remember you could hold the Alt or Option key in. That's the Alt key if you have a PC, the Option key if you have a Mac, and the uh, brush becomes an eraser. And you could erase wherever you don't want it. So, get in there maybe a little closer. Like this. Quick job. We'll hover over the uh, little button there, and I could see everywhere I painted. And it looks pretty good, like right there. And then I could come in and readjust it if it think it's too strong of an effect or not enough. Maybe I want to bring exposure down also. You could do that. In this case, I don't think I want to bring exposure down. But that is the tip, really, uh, that I wanted to show you. There's before the brush. And there is after the brush. Now, I did kind of a lousy job in here. Of course, you're going to take your time and do it. But I just wanted to show you, first of all, that you could paint with color. But not only that, you could actually sample a color that is already on the image. And you could do that, again, with the uh, brush, with the radial filter. You could see it's right there. And with the graduated filter right there. So that's it for episode 39 of Lightroom Quick Tips. I hope that teaches you something you didn't know, and it helps you process your images. So thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.